Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so um, I was going through Sephora and I saw that they were re-releasing a couple of the Norvina palettes. And so I wanted to go ahead and do a high-end look that had a lot of color to it. And so that's kind of what I did today. So I thought we'd go ahead and get started with it. Um, didn't really do a primer because with this foundation, I have the Charlotte Tilbury's Beautiful Skin and Cool, um, yeah, Cool 3. And um, with this one, I don't find that I really need much of a primer, so I didn't really do that. And um, as far as what I went ahead and used, whoops, everything's fallen on the floor. Okay, so I used the LYS, and this is their concealer. And you know what? I'm not sure what shade I have that in. So let me check here. It's an LN3, so light neutral 3 is the shade that I have. Um, and this one's very lightweight concealer. In fact, um, I'm thinking that maybe I need to go ahead and get a, a brightening shade, um, but I like how thin it is. That's nice. And then as far as I wanna, what I did with the bronzer, and this was one that I got last year. <clears throat> It's also the beautiful skin one. Um, I actually got the medium. I probably should have got the fair, but uh, yeah, as you can see, I haven't used all of it yet, but I'm working on it. So that's what I have on as far as my bronzer today. And then as far as blush, went ahead and like I said, I'm doing all high end today. I use the Bare Minerals. This is their Kiss of Copper shade. And uh, this is the older packaging on the Kiss of Copper. So that's what I have on there. I did go ahead and mix uh, two highlighters. And that would be the Nabla. This one's in Privilege. And then the Hollywood um, highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. So I have both of these on. And as far as, yeah. That's, so uh, this one tends to go a little bit peachy. And this one is the bright, shiny, um, yeah, Hollywood, Hollywood highlighter there. So that's what I have there. And as far as the actual eye palette that I used, I used the Norvina. And um, this is the Mini Pro Pigment Palette Volume 2. And like I said, I'd seen this um, on Sephora. This is actually the first of the ABH palettes that I ever got. I, I really came in um, a lot later as far as makeup was concerned. So the modern renaissance, the soft glam, all of that had already been and gone. And so when I came in, I found these. And so I saw this back on the website again. And this is what I'm wearing today. Um, and I think it's worth the money. It's a really cute little palette. So I did the yellow uh, right under the brow. I did the um, peach right on the brow bone. Uh, then in the crease, I went ahead and did the green here. Um, I did this uh, shim yeah, shimmery, um, what is it, uh, sage light green. Yeah, almost a mint really. And I went ahead and did that on the lid. And then I put some of this um, shade in the inner corner to go ahead and lighten that up a little bit. And uh, so that's what I have on. So I used a lot of the palette. And this is how it turned out. And as far as the rest of it, I did go ahead and use the it. Um, it Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. And really, I'm using just about all my high-end makeup today. So, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're getting to see a good amount of my collection of high-end makeup because I really focus more on drugstore. But it's always fun once in a while to go ahead and do. And so the NYX uh, Thick It Stick It, and that's what I have on as far as the eyebrows go. And then as far as the lips go, I did the Walk of No Shame, hold on, by Charlotte Tilbury. That's the one that went flying. 
and um, so that's the color. And I don't know, do I have a gloss to go with it? Let me check here. Mm. I can do the Tower 28 and actually this is my older one. This one cashew. Just to go ahead and give it a little bit of glow. And so uh, that's how that part turned out. And <clears throat> I think the whole look turned out pretty fun. Um, if you're wanting to go ahead and do something a little bit more high-end, uh, it's out there, the colorful. It just isn't going to be uh, probably going with indie brands who can actually be a lot more expensive than some of the high-end that you find it's for or Alta. Um, usually is a way to go to get colorful looks. But like I said, I found this palette and I've had it for a while, but I'm glad that they're bringing it back because it's a really pretty summer palette. And um, you can find them. They're just not, you know, out there in abundance. Um, so I think that's my look, and I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.